Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, alongside my co-host and analyst, Rob Strache. Rob, we are really talking a lot about innovation and partnerships today, and it's, it's about the ecosystem, as it often is in these technology shows. It is, but I, I think, again, as we talked about a couple times, that really, Informatica, because it can span across and bring so many things like you know, master data management and catalog and metadata to multiple different places and really kind of breaks down silos, it's really huge, especially in the cloud. Indeed, indeed it is. Well, I, with that, on that note, I would like to introduce our next two guests. We have Tarek Dwik. He is the head of Global Technology Alliances at Snowflake. Thank you so much for coming on, Tarek. And, and welcome back, I should say. Thank Cube you. veteran. Great to be back. Thank you so much. And Rick Tam Daniels, who is a very recent Cube <laughs> alumni, uh, GVP Technology Alliances at Informatica. Thank you Great both. Great to be here. So Tarek, I want to start with you. Why don't you uh, talk a little bit about the Snowflake Informatica partnership, what it's all about. I know it's roughly almost a decade old. Indeed, yes. indeed it is. We've, been, uh, we've had a successful partnership, as you mentioned, almost a decade in the making, helping customers be very successful managing their data. Uh, thing, one of the most important parts of our partnership and why customers have been successful is due to Amazing product innovations. It started with, it always starts with product innovations. Informatica has always invested in making sure that customers get the most optimal experience in terms of performance, in terms of security. We've got hundreds of joint customers taking amazing advantage of this to solve their most complicated data needs. Uh, and now we're seeing that move into AI, where as, as we all know, you can't get AI without having your data be ready in its most pristine state. Yeah, and I, I think again, you had an announcement today around Cortex and generative mm -hmm. AI and really strengthening that. Why don't we tell us a little bit more about the actual announcement? Yeah, there were, uh, there were two big pieces of the announcement and as Tarek mentioned, we have a strong history of innovation, right? That's a big part of how we work together and these are the latest examples of, of that innovation. So the first is we announced our, our blueprint for generative AI with Snowflake Cortex. And so that really is, is kind of a roadmap for uh, customers who are looking to build generative AI applications on the Snowflake Data Cloud, uh, providing them a roadmap for how do they do so in an enterprise context, right? How do they bring enterprise metadata? How do they bring trusted enterprise data to bear to ultimately deliver applications that can be trusted, right? And the second piece of it was we announced what we call native SQL ELT. It's a lot of, quite a long acronym there, but basically the idea of how do we, you know, with Informatica, we are very focused on utilizing the compute power of the underlying platform. And so with Snowflake Data Cloud is an incredibly powerful platform, and so we're focused on pushing down data pipelines. So okay, no code data pipelines, but pushing them down. And with this latest innovation, we're dramatically expanding the range of capabilities and functionality that are natively available in Snowflake that Informatica users can just tap into in a, in a super easy way from our user experience, but run that processing natively on the Snowflake platform. At this moment in time when so many organizations are trying to, to utilize Gen AI, your partnership is really has a, a special new relevance and really more important than ever before. Can you just describe for us, Tarek, the landscape of what you're seeing right now in terms of what the, the challenges that organizations are facing in terms of making sure their data is, is ready? Definitely. I think if you, if you look at uh, certain surveys out there, uh, Generative AI is 70% of executives across technology companies, across every industry actually, uh, are looking to deploy a Gen AI application within the next two years. And they see that it is truly transformative. And we see it ourselves at Snowflake in a lot of the like, productivity uh, advantages in terms of engineering folks, in terms of um, customer service, uh, in terms of our IT organization. And so, what we feel is very important, our customers are, the, the, the areas customers are more concerned about are areas around uh, governance of data, right? Do they have uh, the right copy? Is it the single source of truth that they're going to trust in order to go ask additional questions or, or democratize in, in, into the hands of uh, their, entire, um, their entire enterprise organization? And so with Informatica and Snowflake, we've focused on security from the very beginning, we focused on governance from the very beginning to ensure that customers have the highest quality data, ensure that they understand who has access to that data, to understand um, which, where, where the data sits and, and deeper information about that data, and that's become key, very critical to what customers are trying to do with Gen AI. And we're, we're hoping that that starts to address some of their concerns and, lets them, and, and accelerates uh, their entrance into taking advantage of Gen AI and the applications that they can go and, and deploy. 
Yeah, I mean, it makes so much sense because when you think of, I and mean, when I think of Snowflake and mm -hmm. knowing Snowflake for quite a while uh, and having been partnered and myself with Snowflake, when you start to look at it, one of the things that I think is great about Informatica and Snowflake together is the fact that you may have different Snowflake pods where you're, you have data that needs to be actually brought together and transformed to actually provide that answer or something of that nature. And that's kind of where that governance up above from Informatica comes in, right? Yeah, absolutely, and, and as Tarek said, governance has been a concern, but seems to be an even bigger concern in the Gen AI era. And so, you know, great, greater area of innovation. Um, we were a launch partner for Snowflake Horizon, which is kind of their data governance capabilities in platform. Uh, so having that, that assurance is really, really important. I'd say the other angle too that customers struggle with is they, they know they need to bring their data to Gen AI, they know they need to bring it to Snowflake, but data quality is an ongoing issue, right? That, that has not been solved by any means. And so, not, it, it's not all data is created equal in the Gen AI world, so you really want that high fidelity trusted cleanse data, and that's, you know, Informatica plays a big role there as well. Can you share some customer stories of, of challenges that, the, that they were facing that they came to you and you really could help them unlock the value? Yeah, so, um, so we've had a whole range of, of customer success and we have a lot of customers who are looking to build just modern data in the cloud, right? And so helping them uh, you know, assemble their data, get it from on-premise sources, get it quickly into the cloud. So Informatica, we have joint programs with Snowflake to accelerate that journey. Uh, but then looking to deploy use cases, for example, um, think about sourcing. For as, as someone who's an analyst trying to source new products, uh, being able to go and, and, and look out at public data and say, I want products that kind of fit this general criteria. You know, an LLM's great, a public money trained model to help them find what they might be interested in, but then be able to say, well, I need to connect this back to my supplier data. Database. Do I actually have a relationship with a supplier? How can I actually source this? And so that's it's a great example of just connecting that, the public kind of uh, chat interface experience, but grounding it and making it highly relevant by tying it to your data assets. Yeah, I mean, I think again, part of it is also that there's different verticals that you both go after, and there's the tie-in, and we saw some of it in the demo earlier today about how do you ground things in certain and understand, okay, this is my claims data and things of that nature for the insurance, and we you know, talked about it. It's like, hey, you, most of these companies, data is really what their companies are built on. It's their IP. Are you seeing that uh, Informatica bringing kind of that cross vertical, but having some vertical specificity is really helping with Snowflake as well? Indeed, if you look across our, our joint customer base, the great thing is we're in these large enterprises across every industry, whether it's financial services, whether it's healthcare, life sciences, manufacturing. And because we've been working with these customers for a very long time, we have an intimate understanding of the use cases uh, that are most relevant for them. And we've taken those use cases and we've packaged them up so other customers can see, oh, I have a supply chain optimization problem. This is how Informatica and Snowflake have solved it for other large firms like myself. I can take full advantage. So just taking advantage of that expertise and making sure we can replicate it across all of our customers to, to have equal success um, is, is, is of the ultimate uh, importance for us. Well, uh, that, that sharing of best mm -hmm. practices as you're talking about and bringing mm -hmm. together companies that are facing similar obstacles in their way and then saying, hey, we've dealt with that before. We, we, we know we can fix that. Can you just describe the, 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 the approach that that takes? Because I mean, it's not just the technology. It really is about the mindset mm -hmm. and the, 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 the strategy behind it too. That's right. Yeah, I'd say it's uh, it's definitely analytics, generative AI. There is a people process angle for sure to all of this, right? Uh, and and it's fantastic. You know, we have a rich partner ecosystem here who helps customers on that journey and figure that out. Uh, and and but there is a certain amount of adoption that needs to go with it. So a lot of my customer discussions this week have been talking about how do you incentivize the organization so that everyone's invested in having a data centric culture, right? And and they're actually incentivized, they're measured, uh, and really create this idea of not just am I serving requests, but Actually, I want to drive consumption of my data as an asset in the broader enterprise. And that is a people process thing that goes hand in hand with the technology. But you also have to have the right technology foundation to enable that as well. Right, so it is this kind of meeting in the middle of, of the organizational change management with a strong technical foundation that gives you all those core services you need. And I think, again, you, you know, with the announcement around SQL and the native aspect of that, you're helping 
with over 250 different snowflake specific functions that yeah. actually, the cognitive load that that must take off of data engineers has to be huge. Yes. And, and that's a key point there because if you look at our partnership and how we've helped customers and how we're taking that to AI, there, there are really three key pillars. Uh, first is just make it easy and simple. Right, remove all the complexities that are bogging down all these customers from actually getting to the business uh, problems that they're trying to solve. Uh, make it efficient, make sure the TCO makes sense, and then finally make it secure. Right, we talked about security, so, they, so it's trusted and they can uh, continue to move on to innovate, and continue to move on to uh, become, be, being leaders in their respective industries. We talk about cognitive load on this show a lot and, mm -hmm. and toil. Can you, are, are they really feeling it yet already? Are they feeling the increased productivity? Are they feeling the decreased mental load of, of, of all that they have to do to make sure the data is, as you say, private and secure and, and ready? Do you, do you think that they're already, that, that, is, that is transforming the job of an engineer? Or are we still not quite there yet? No, I mean, I think it definitely, definitely makes a difference. You know, Informatica, we've been very much focused on kind of the no-code experience, right, configuration-driven experience. And we, you know, talk with Snowflake, we talk with the joint customers, we're focused on two big elements. So one is speed is of the essence, right, getting started quickly. And so for example, um, you know, last year we announced, we call our super pipe for Snowflake, which is our you know, three and a half times faster you know, ch uh, versus legacy change data capture approaches to get data replicated in. But then we are focused on the scaling of consumption side as well. And, and that's where security, governance, all those trust comes in. And when you put something like IDMC as the foundation, what ends up happening is that those engineers are actually more productive because the governance is there, right? The work they're doing is getting captured, we're getting lineage, we're getting transparency and traceability, which ultimately means that they can deploy more faster, right? So I think those benefits are definitely being realized uh, across the portfolio when in terms of the Snowflake data cloud. Yeah. And, and to add to that, uh, back to your, um, are, are these customers starting to take advantage and see the benefits? And what, what we're seeing today, at least, is on the productivity gains, definitely, for instance, um, software engineers and the ability to take advantage of, of um, uh, auto-completing code. I think there's like, a th they, they're, what they're saying now is 30% of what they do in terms of writing code um, can, be, can, can be automated through things like Gen AI. We're seeing in uh, chatbot examples, like a manufacturing company we were talking to last week was able to upload all of these service manuals, which are huge, like multi-hundred page documents that normally you'd have to, you'd have to um, dig through, and you can do a simple search, but what if you're trying to say, I, I need to uh, troubleshoot a certain problem on a certain um, airplane as an example? Well, now with Gen AI, I can ask a complicated, I can have a complicated prompt to ask a question, it'll, and I can feed it all my different manuals that are company specific, and they'll come back with a very relevant result. So people are seeing the power of that. I think they're not unlocking larger enterprise problems until they're, they're comfortable with the trust and security factor. And this is where we think uh, our partnership is going to be uh, critical to that. Yeah, I mean, I think that the trust, the governance, mm -hmm. also the repeatability, because yeah. I think part of governance and you know, doing it is doing it once really well. Yeah. You know, standardizing on that—that that has to be a big piece of, especially with the ELT and you know, being native and stuff of that nature. It's like really, you want to do it the same way each time. Yep. It gets also to the pack, fact that you also want the same answers when you get to Gen AI, and won't, won't go that deep into it. But that has to be one of the thinking that of why Informatica went down this path. Uh, absolutely, and I think you know, one thing that your your comment uh, kind of resonated with me is that. The other big thing we're talking about here is how we're using generative AI to actually accelerate as well within the product experience. Mm -hmm. So we've just been talking about how customers can deploy generative AI applications, but at the same time with our Clear GPT, Clear Copilot, uh, we have a lot of great demos here, a lot of great conversations, just showcasing how those assistive technologies, how we deploy Gen AI in the service of data management, right? So in that case, the end user and, and the data engineer is comfortable with the data pipeline, but we're also making it faster to build the data pipeline as well, right? Right. So I know we're at an Informatica show, but I'm going to see you in a couple of weeks at the Snowflake Summit, where Informatica yep. is, of course, a Black Diamond sponsor. More announcements will be made there. I mean, can you give us a little sneak preview? Of I think the main thing is just you'll see more and more innovation uh, to help drive customer value. Uh, and so please come and, and, and check it out. Okay. Yeah. okay, and you're also giving a keynote address this evening. 
you'll see our CEO, Shreda Ramaswamy, uh, later this evening at the 5 p.m. keynote. So uh, we're excited to also attend that. So please don't miss it. So, so much going on. Excellent. It was a great conversation, both of you, uh, Tarek and Rick. Thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. Thank, thank you, you for having us. I'm Rebecca Knight for Rob Strache. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise tech news and analysis.